Dude, you're back from your trip. How'd it go? No broken arms, <laughs> no broken legs. How many snow days did you get? Two, two snow days. It didn't snow, man, it was the hottest it's ever been since I've been to Breckenridge. When we go, I would say, we like try to go every two years, the past since our boys have been born. Um, so the eight-year-old day one went skiing with me down the mountain. Uh, the five-year-old did uh, ski school for three days. And, and how, how many days on the mountain did you get? Three on the mountain. <laughs> and then we did one day of sledding. Heck yeah. Yeah, it was cool. It was Dude, cool. That, that's and the fun. Mama bear got sick, altitude sickness on the way up. Yeah. Legit. She's like, oh, my head hurts. I'm not feeling good. And by the time we get to the grocery store, which is about 10 minutes from where we stay, man, she was uh -oh. throwing up on the, out the car. I felt so bad. So I had to go in the store with all three, my two, my eight year old, sorry. Yeah, my Carson, eight year old, my five year old, and then my almost two year old girl. Shopping with three kids. Yeah. I give my wife mad props when she does that because I was going crazy with oh. all three of them running around and she's in the car throwing up. And then, yeah, that night she was sick and the next day she was sick. So. Holy smokes. Yeah, dude. but by the, the second day she was better. Got right. fluids in her, she was good. You ready to rock and roll? Yeah, so what are we, gonna, what are we doing today? Dude. So I was looking at some old videos. That seven second T7, that white one? Yes. Is it the same one that's in the storage? It is. Mr. Broadway's C7 Corvette. Yeah. Man, we did that car. That was another car that like started off as like a 750 package. Yeah. And before he even picked the car up, I want 1200 horsepower. And then next thing you know, I want the world's fastest C7. I'm like, okay, well, we can do it. You know, it's just time and money. <laughs> and sure as yeah, we did it. We went for the longest time. I don't want to say the longest time. The f first few outings, I mean, it was like an 8-1 or an 8-0, uh, we did it at Evadale. I don't even remember, it's been so long. But I wanna say we went 8-0s at Evadale, right? We were so close to be the first, we wanna be the first C7 in the sevens, okay. right? When, what year was this? 2017, 2016? Yeah. It was like three years ago, three, three or four years ago. I don't remember. And how Something many people like were close? Um, there were, I'm gonna say three people shooting for it that yeah. I know of, that I knew of, right? There's probably a couple more, sure. but three people like online posting, going mid eights, saying they're gonna shoot, they're gonna go for seven. So uh, we actually went to Bowling Green, Kentucky for the LS, uh, the Holly Fest, and another YouTuber, uh, sorry, I don't know his name right now. It's not Street Speed or TJ Hunt. What is his name? Anyway, Stang Killer, I think. Anyways, he's got a C7 Power Glide, same exact setup as we did. He said, no, I'm gonna be the first in the sevens. So I'm like, well, hey, we're both gonna be at the same track in Bowling Green. Let's line up together and let's just race, see who wins. And if one of us goes to seven, even cooler. So we line up. I think he actually hole shot at me and then he spun the tires or something. And dude, I go down the track. And again, we had it on kill to try to go seven. Blew it up about a thousand foot, coasted to an eight. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. But we got the win against them. It was good. It sucked. We blew up. We hurt the motor. But then we came back, freshened it up, fixed it. Next time out, we went to 8-1 boost only. And I didn't want to. I, I probably could have got those sevens on boost, but I was in such a rush to be the first word sevens before anyone else. I was like, screw it. Turn the nitro bottle on. I uh, went to about a thousand foot, took it the first pass, went to 770. So we were the first ones in the sevens. We were happy with that. But. As y'all know, I want to go even faster. I want to set the bar as high as I could that day. So, turned it up a little bit more, aired it out, and went to 750 at I think 185 miles an hour. And that is with a factory LT1 block and factory LT1 heads back in the day. Factory head bolts, hydraulic roller, nothing too crazy compared to some of the motors we're putting in our little 1200 horsepower packages now. So, um, like a car like Dr. Scary's we just built, his engine is better than an engine that we went sevens with. And Mr. Scary is gonna hop in this car and drive around town, which is gonna be insane. He'll do roll race events, just not more 
He's more of a roll race guy than a drag race guy. But yeah, that was good times, man. I had a good crew back then. Um, we all busted our ass. We all wanted it. And uh, I think in the video, we, we shut down the shop just to go do it because I knew. I knew if the car stayed in one piece, it was going to do it. So it was definitely a good day. Dude, for those that haven't seen the video, I'm going to put it right here. But, but first, we got to do that drawing for the Ooh. Apple Watch. Let's do it. Get that right, Dan. That's right. So how should I left we... it right here. Hoo, 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 hoo. We haven't even opened it yet. But yeah, it is the green aluminum case. Sport band. All right, guys. So last was it last week or the week before we went ahead. Dean, the man behind the camera, came up with a badass new logo T for us, and we went ahead and did a Apple Watch giveaway. So if you purchase a shirt, we did 50, we just limited it to 50 only. If you purchase a shirt, you subscribe to our channel, and I think you had to like or whatever post on one of our videos, you are entered to win. So there is 50, only 50 entries. We're about to draw names right we're now. We're gonna shuffle these right now. Bloop, 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 bloop. I'm gonna do it three times. We're gonna shuffle the names three times. All right, boom. Whip it this way. Winner is? I can't believe it. Like, out of all, I mean, it's, it's random. 50 people. He James did, Strickland. We did have two entries. He did have two entries? Okay. see you, Tim. Had four. Dr. Scary, James Strickland, you are the winner of the Apple Watch. Um, again, good customer of ours. We actually just have his car finished up. Uh, we're getting ready to finish it over the holiday break. Um, it is a very high horsepower build. For any of you guys that have not watched his previous video, type in Dr. Scary or LMR Corvette and go watch his previous video from earlier in the year. And just know it's getting way more horsepower this go around. So congratulations, Mr. Scary. Uh, all the shirts have already been sent out, so we'll send the Apple Watch out tomorrow. And all the, those of you watching, uh, leave comments below. What should we give away next? Leave comments below. Car parks, um, other cool gadgets or drones, uh, GoPros. Leave comments below. I'm curious to see what y'all have to say. Um, as always, guys, thank you everyone that participated, and uh, we'll be doing another one here shortly. <laughs>
190s at 145. Hey, only a 127, 60 foot. Right? I, didn't, I told you. I just wanted to run a seven. Now we can fine tune it and go even faster. So just like any platform, um, starting with the C5, C6, fifth gen, the C7, you know, I always want to purchase a vehicle, do R&D on it, and set a world record to prove that, you know, we have the capabilities of going fast reliably. So now we're in 2021, so we did the same thing with the C8. We got the car R&D twin turbo kit. Uh, the guys, Anderson at Fuel Tech, we work with them a lot on R&D on the C8, which is completely different than C7, C6 stuff in the past, just because of the aftermarket ECM we have to put on the car to get it to make the horsepower that we're wanting reliably with and still drive right. Um, so we went 890s in his car. 2022, if we can have drivetrain components hold, my goal is to be the first C8 in the sevens. I know that sounds crazy, but I have a whole nother year to do it. And like I said, if we work with the right vendors and the right manufacturers to get us the drivetrain parts we need, I know I can make the horsepower to do it. It's just about getting the drivetrain to hold up. So stay tuned. I look forward to hopefully shooting for some crazy records in the CA Corvette coming soon. What, what kind of parts are we looking for? Transmission, rear end, mainly transmission rear end. Uh, we already got CV axles in them. Uh, we got a cool conversion for the back to put a big wheel and tire on it, um, or a small wheel, but big tire. And yeah, the engine I know can hold the 2000 horsepower, like what we're building in these cars. Like I said, uh, we haven't showed y'all Dr. Scary's horsepower numbers, but they're insane for real world numbers. Um, the engine can hold it. The turbo kits we're building can make it. It's all about the transmission and rear end. That's the big question mark. We got the clutch to hold, you know, 1350 already. And like I said, go 890s already, but a whole nother second, that's a big jump. I mean, a couple tenths when you start going that fast is a huge difference. So drivetrain components are going to be our friend or not our friend moving forward. So send us your parts. Yes. Vendors out there wanting to R&D stuff with us when it comes to gear sets and clutches, hit us up anytime. We have multiple vehicles here we are testing on. So hit us up. So I hope you enjoyed this throwback Thursday video from three or four years past. Those of you new that uh, watch this channel, I greatly appreciate it. Those of you new to it, please hit that subscribe button. Give it a big thumbs up, thumbs down, and leave comments below. You think it's possible for a C8 to go in the sevens? Time will tell.